Levy, Lucas Hanneman here. Welcome to a very special episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday, where I officially unleash this beast right here. This is my brand new Milan Song Custom Artist Tee. And for those of you who have been following the channel for at least a week, well, you probably saw the unboxing video of this guitar in Florida. We are back home from Florida. Everyone is safe, everyone is happy, and I am extra happy because I have this new baby to show you guys. So let's talk about the features. This guitar, Custom Artist T, designates Telecaster-style guitar, albeit with a slightly different shape. The lower bout here is almost more Les Paul-esque. It's a bit smaller than it would be on a typical Telecaster. And, you know, Gerard has his own shapes when he makes these guitars, but uh, it feels familiar to me. The switch location, the knob location, is kind of Stratocaster-esque. We have a forearm contour and a belly cut, like a Strat, which, you know, I am a big Strat fan. I love Stratocaster-style guitars. But it is Telecaster-like in the fact that I've got a big chunky neck here, which I really, really love. We've got two pickups. And the simplicity is here, like on a Telecaster. Only one volume, one tone and just a three-way switch. And I'm a big fan of that. My first electric guitar was a Mexican Telecaster made by Fender. And I always loved that instrument because it just felt like you could get your thoughts out on it without all the stuff getting in the way. So I've always been, I think, most myself on a Telecaster style guitar. Let's talk about the things that make this Fender-ish and the things that make it Gibson-ish. If I flip the guitar around, um, we have some things that are kind of different. Um, the body though, is Swamp Ash. Gerard lives in the heart of Louisiana, and uh, you know, the amazing thing about Louisiana is that they have the lightest Swamp Ash there, and Gerard has, you know, this guy who gets wood for him, and he chose the, the lightest piece he had in his pile for me. So this guitar is completely solid, but it only weighs about six pounds, three ounces, thanks to this beautiful back. Now, it doesn't look like Swamp Ash, but, uh, you know, he put the dark stain on it, so it's really, really, really nice. The neck, um, it has what he calls a, a 59 less Paul, uh, or a 59 Paul shape, so it kind of feels like a, a 59 less Paul. It's fairly deep, I like a big chunky neck, and it's very round. But the thing that makes it Fender-ish, kind of, or more boutique-y, I'd say, is the fact that it's roasted maple. So what they do is they take maple, they put it in a vacuum-sealed oven, and the idea is it takes all the moisture out of the wood and turns it to carbon. So when you're flying to different climates, which is something that I have to do sometimes as a full-time musician, um, the guitar does not move. The idea is you take your guitar out of the case, the neck has not moved because it's more stable. Um, on the front of the guitar, we have a Pau Faro fingerboard with stainless steel jumbo fret wire. So the idea is that these frets should last a very, very long time. Um, Pau Faro I like because it's not an endangered wood, it's a sustainable wood, so I'm, on, I'm all for that stuff. Um, he put my initials at the 12th fret. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. But I'm very happy with that. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the, the body, I guess this is kind of where it gets more Gibson-esque. Um, I handpicked this maple top. Gerard sent me pictures of five different options for the top, and my wife and I like this one the most. I mean, I had lots of great comments on the, on the top of the guitar on last week's video. These are Gerard's own low-wine PAF-style pickups, so I like that as well. Nice and chimey for, for humbuckers, because I'm more of a single coil player, but I wanted a double humbucker electric, uh, you know, a solid body guitar, which I did not have. I, I have my Eastman, which is a almost fully hollow guitar, but this is my only dual humbucker, you know, true humbucker solid body guitar. I've got things with single coils, i got Gretsch style pickups, but uh, humbuckers, you know, they do their own thing. So let's hear some sounds. So here's the neck pickup. <laughs> That sounds fairly Gibson-y to me, I like that. Uh, two pickups together. To me, this is where you kind of start to hear the Swamp Ash a bit. It's got a chimier sound uh, than I'm used to for a double humbucker uh, guitar in that in-between position, and I like that a lot. It kind of sounds a bit like a cross between a Telecaster and an SG to me. Uh, here's the bridge pickup. I like 
that sound too, nice and bright, you know. As I say, I like brighter sounding pickups, so that's very cool. And then you can actually push the tone control to split the coil, so you can get this really kind of funky. Almost kind of stratty sound when you do that. So I'm very, very pleased with this guitar. I think it sounds great. Um, let me know in the comment section below, have you ever heard of Melanson guitars? If you have not had the chance to try one, and if you do see one pop up on your local Kijiji or whatever, do yourself a favor and go at least try it because this is the second Milan song guitar I've ever tried. And from all accounts, from what I read online, they are all absolutely fantastic. Gerard, you really nailed it with this guitar. It's a huge honor to be an endorser of your products. Um, I really, really love them. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you guys again next Tuesday.